How great are you, Father? <clears throat> How wonderful are you, Father? How loving are you, Father? Everlasting Father, you are wonderful. You are powerful. You are merciful. You are kind. You are beautiful beyond description. You are mightier than the wave of the sea. Faithful God, you are. Loving God, you are. Powerful God, you are. Everlasting Father, Lord. There is no one like unto you. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. How great are you, Lord? You are wonderful. You are powerful. You are merciful. You are kind. You are beautiful beyond description. How great are you, Lord? How kind are you, Lord? How powerful are you, Lord? How merciful are you, Lord? Oh, blessed be unto your holy name, O Lord God. Immortal God, invisible God, <clears throat> the only wise God. How great are you? Be thou exalted, O Lord God. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hello, beautiful people of God. Trust we all had a wonderful day. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Adebayo, and I welcome you to tonight's prayer meeting. I pray that the Almighty God will breathe upon us and stabilize every area of our lives as we experience peace and rest on every side in the name of Jesus Christ of God. Amen and amen. Yes, uh, Psalm 95 verse 1. Psalm 95 verse 1. I read in KJV. The Bible says, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make him make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Verse 3 says, For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. Small g. For the Lord is a great God and a great God above all gods. The Bible says, verse 2 says, Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalm. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalm. My brothers, my sisters, friends, oh, the Bible said, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise. Why not make, Why not begin to make a joyful noise unto God in praising him, in thanking him, in adoring him, in exalting him, in glorifying him, in honoring him, in referencing him, in hallow his name tonight. Why not go ahead? <laughs> oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto our God the rock of our salvation. Go ahead, make a joyful noise to the rock of your salvation. Make a joyful noise to the King of Kings. Make a joyful noise to the Lord of Lords. Make a joyful noise to the King of Glory. Make a joyful noise to the eternal rock of ages. Make a joyful noise to the one who sits upon the throne. Make a joyful noise. The one that takes heaven is thrown. Heaven is thrown and earth is full too. The one that the heavens of heavens cannot contain. Just make a joyful noise unto him tonight. Our ah, Father, we make a joyful noise unto you, O Lord, by lifting up our voice to see who is like unto you. Who are we going to compare you unto? You are the King of the kings. You are the Lord of the Lord. You are the ancient of days. The one that sits upon the circle of the whole universe. The everlasting Father. How great are you, Lord? How kind are you, Lord? How beautiful are you, Lord? How wonderful are you, Lord? How powerful are you, Lord? How merciful are you, Lord? How faithful are you, Lord? Oh, Daddy, you are the tender rock of ages. Oh, Zato Prehelada, Sekatu Prahataya. We bless you this night. We praise you tonight. We honor you tonight. We adore you tonight. We give you all the glory tonight. We give you all the honor tonight. We magnify you tonight. We say, who is like unto you? Who are we going to compare unto you? You are beautiful beyond description. You are mightier than the wave of the sea. Everlasting Father, King of Kings, ancient of day, eternal rock of ages. We worship, just worship him tonight. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness tonight. Praise him in the beauty of his holiness tonight. Magnify him in the beauty of his holiness tonight. Exalt him in the beauty of his holiness tonight. Adore him in the beauty of his holiness tonight. He's the way maker. Oh, Father, we just adore you. We, your children, have come again, oh Lord God, because unto you shall be the garden of your people. Unto you that answer a prayer. We 
have come again tonight unto you that answered prayer. We have gathered again tonight unto you that answered prayer. We have come to lift up our voice, O Lord, to make our request known to you, O Lord. Unto you, O Lord, that answered prayer. We have come to worship. Unto you that answered prayer. We have come to adore. Unto you that answered prayer. Oh, we have come, O Lord, to exalt your holy name. How great are you? How wonderful are you? Zopre Helababa. Just praise him. Just exalt him tonight. Just magnify him tonight. Just lift him up by tonight. Is the miracle working God? Is the light of the world that the darkness can never comprehend? Is the one who is, who was, who is to come? Is the same yesterday, today, and forever? Unquestionable God. Unchangeable God. Reliable God. Dependable God. Ha ha ha. The God that is incomparable. Zopra Ali the papa. The one that speak and it came to pass. The one that say, let's be and it was so. Everlasting Father, we bless you tonight. We praise you tonight. We honor you tonight. We adore you tonight. We offer you the fruit of our lips in thanksgiving tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we just bless you. We just bless you. We just bless you. We just magnify you. We just lift you up high. We just exalt you, O Lord. There is no one to be compared unto you. You are worthy to be praised. Mazopra aligezege degele brada. Oh, papa ra pata papa 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 papa. Eka zopra kasanta kali brada. Father, we bless you. 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 We lift you up high. We exalt your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Mazopra halabayaba. Blessed be unto your holy name in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped tonight as we gather before the King of Kings. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 15, verse 1, Lord, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell in, the, in your holy hill? He that walketh upright and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that bad, bad, not, not. In short, what I'm trying to say is that as we come to the presence of God tonight, we want to ask, we want to pray for unhindered access. Whatever we hinder our access to the presence of God, whatever we not make God to hear our prayer tonight, whatever we make our prayer to be in vain tonight, we want to cry out to God for mercy. We have to ask for forgiveness of all our transgression, all our sins, in any way that we are falling short of the glory of God. Why not go ahead and ask for the mercy of God to prevail tonight that the mercy of God will prevail to give us full access on in the access unlimited access to the presence of our God to the presence of our maker father we have come again tonight oh Lord God anything that might want to hinder our access oh Lord to your presence father we plead the blood of Jesus let the blood of Jesus, O Lord, remove every transgression, every iniquities. Let cleanse us, purify us in the name of Jesus, O Lord God. Father, O Lord God, we come to your presence through the blood of Jesus, O Lord, tonight. We come to your presence, O Lord God, through, O Lord, the completed work on the cross of Calvary tonight. That the O Lord God Almighty, Father, we ask, Lord, that you accept us, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We invite you to come and take preeminence, O Lord, tonight, O Lord God. That the O Lord God, Holy Spirit, Come and take preeminent wherever people are gathered to join tonight. I ask, O oh Lord, Father Lord, let there be open heaven upon us tonight, O oh Lord God. Holy Spirit, take preeminent, O oh Lord God. Father, take preeminent, O oh Lord, tonight, O oh Lord God. Mazo Prahalit, get the pregnable. Saturate your environment with the blood of Jesus. Saturate where you are with the blood of Jesus. I saturate this environment with the blood of Jesus. And I saturate the environment where, O oh Lord, each and every one of us is connecting from, O oh Lord. That, Lord, that there will be access, O oh Lord, to the throne of mercy, to the throne of grace, to the throne of holiness. Even tonight, in the name of Jesus, Marosatas, why not begin to thank God? The Bible says we should thank God. They give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord because, the, the, because of his mercy, because of his loving kindness, because of his faithfulness, because of his goodness. Oh, Father, we give you thanks tonight. Oh Lord, for your faithfulness, for keeping us, for providing for us, for salvation, for protection, for shielding us from every cancer from the pit of hell, for not allow the rod of the wicked to rest upon our Lord. Ah, oh, Father, we say thank you for being our shield. Thank you for being our defender. Thank you for being our healer. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our career. Thank you for our health. Thank you for the battle you are fighting behind the scene for us. Thank you for this day that you have made. Thank you for this moment that you have made. Thank you for this year that you have made. Thank you for this month that you have made. Thank you for this week that you have made for 
for us, O oh Lord. Thank you for the opportunity that I've given unto us to appear before you, O oh Lord, tonight. We say thank you, O oh Lord God. We say we are grateful. Oh Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Oh Lord, hallelujah. For all you have done for all. Hallelujah, we are grateful. Oh Lord. How excellent is your name, oh Lord, how excellent, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, how I go, how, how, how excellent is your name, yes Lord I be, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, how excellent, Baba, how excellent is your name, yes Lord, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, how excellent is your name. Oh, 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 how glorious, oh, how glorious is your name. Oh, 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 oh how glorious, Lord, oh, how glorious is your name. Oh, 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 oh how our God, oh, 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 how glorious is your name. Yes, Lord, oh, how glorious is your name. Your name, oh Lord, oh, oh, how glorious is your name. Oh, oh Lord, oh, how glorious, oh, how glorious is your name. Yes, Lord, I do. How glorious is your name, oh Lord, oh, how glorious is your name. Oh, oh Lord, oh, oh. Who is like unto thee? Oh, 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 Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, 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 Lord, oh, 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 among the ones that go, oh, 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 who, who is like you? You are glorious in holiness and fearful in praising. Always do we wonder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say, always do he wonders. Hallelujah. Yes, Father Lord. You are the God that is always doing wonders. You are the one that there is no one to be compared unto. We just worship you tonight. We just praise you tonight. We just magnify you tonight. We just lift you up high tonight. We exalt you tonight. We hallow your name. We reference you. Oh, we say thank you for another opportunity that you have given unto us. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for, oh Lord, for defending us. Thank you for fighting our battle. Thank you for the bread of life. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for being our succor. Thank you for being our buckler. Thank you for being our glory. Thank you for being the lifter up of our head. Thank you for everything that you have done, oh Lord, even behind the scenes that we are not aware of. We are grateful, oh Lord God. Tonight, as we gather before you, oh Lord, please, Father, let there be hope on heaven. Tonight, we pray, oh Lord, that we settle our, our case, oh Lord. We pray, oh Lord, for divine intervention that we settle our matter. We pray for divine intervention that we stabilize every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh Lord, that you breathe upon us, oh Lord, and we will experience the power of resurrection in every area of our lives. And we declare the meeting open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, brothers and sisters and friends. If this is your first time of joining us on this, on this platform, this is an interdenominational prayer platform where we come together 
every Tuesday by the special grace of the Almighty God between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. 10 p.m. GMT to pray, to travel in prayer. And the Bible says, as soon as Zion travelled, she brought out her children. As soon as Zion travelled, she brought out her children. And I'll pray that as soon as we are travelling tonight in prayer, the Almighty God will intervene in our matter. The Almighty God will intervene in our matter. I say it again that the Almighty God will intervene in our matter and set to us in the name of Jesus. And I decree upon your life tonight that whatever you are believing God for, the Almighty God will intervene tonight and He will settle your matter. He will settle your case in the name of Jesus Christ of God. So, you know, for all our previous prayer sessions, so please visit www.youtube.com slash traveling in prayers www.youtube.com slash traveling in prayers so you will see all our previous session of prayer there and i pray that as you use any of them as a guide to pray the almighty god will intervene in your matter and we answer and grant you your act request, request in the name of jesus christ of god as we have said last week you know it has been placed in my heart that this month is a month of divine completion and stability which we started you know which we started last week so we look at what divine completion and stability is and we focus on the finished work on the cross of calvary the work that jesus christ did for us on the cross of calvary as done as we look at john chapter 19 verse 30 b the bible says jesus christ said it is finished and we look at matthew chapter 27 from verse 50 to verse 53, Matthew 27, 50 to 23. The Bible says Jesus Christ said, as soon as Jesus Christ make a pronouncement, he asked for anger to drink and then make a pronouncement that, yes, and as soon as he said that pronouncement that the Bible said the curtains of olives, of olives, the curtains was strengthened into two. And since then we have been having confidence and boldness to come to the presence of the almighty God at any time any moment that we have 24 7 we can access our father okay so therefore so let's get ready as we go as we as as as, as we continue in our prayer tonight and i pray that the almighty god we divinely visit us in the name of jesus christ of god so tonight our focus is on father grant me all run stability and settlement and i want us to look at the book of if you can join with me to the book of first peter chapter 5 let's start from verse 7. first peter chapter 5 from verse 7 and we read to verse 10, verse 10. we just let's just just take three verses and then we we start to roll, roll to roll in prayer remember we can't do without the word of god it is the word of god that is powerful that is sharper than any any two-edged sword that we are going to be using to pray so that we can establish so that we can enjoy divine stability so First Peter chapter 5, I start from verse 7. The Bible says, Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. I pray that the, uh, the devil will not devour us, the edge will not be broken around us to allow the devil to roar, to, to devour any of us or our loved one in the name of Jesus. Verse 9 says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. He said now, verse 10 now say, But the God of all grace, who had called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered while, make you perfect, stabilize, strengthen, set to you. To him be the glory. And dominion forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. You know, Apostle Peter is telling us what is going to happen to, to us. Say after verse 10, our my emphasis is on verse 10 tonight. You know, you know, if, if, people of Israel they have been suffering persecution, they have been suffering the, 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 so I say the people of Israel, they are opposed to the Christian then, they have been suffering persecution, affliction from people, so Apostle Paul was now telling, I saw Apostle Peter was now telling them that look, but after the God of all grace, so God of all grace, every great grace for our marriage, grace for our career, grace for our head, God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that we have suffered a while, make you perfect, 
stabilize, strengthen, and set to you. You know, in life, because before we start praying tonight, I just want us to just quickly brief stuff, just, just two, three minutes. In life, every one of us going through, every one of us is either going through a storm, coming out of a storm, or entering another storm, or preparing to enter another. But we are rest assured that the Almighty God said He will never leave us nor forsake us. When you read that one in the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. He said, He will never leave us to forsake us. When, when, if we pass through fire, the fire will not, will not burn us. And if we pass through the river, the river will not overflow us. So we are either going through the storm, coming out of a storm, or entering into a storm, or preparing to enter another storm. So we are but in either of this situation, either of this season in our life, God is always present with us. It's a very present air, remember. Is a very present in time of all our need. No matter what our need might be, God is there with us and is there for us. So time of storm bring us instability. When we have challenges, when we have storm in our life, it brings unsettlement, it brings instability into our life, which if not properly undo, if we don't undo that time of storm properly, it can negatively affect our life for life. It can have it affect our life, affect many areas of our lives, our health, our marriage, our career, our ministry, every every area of our relationship. So, and it brings stagnation, it brings delay, unfulfilled dreams, and among other things. So, so we need to have we need to have settlement, settlement of mind, settlement in our relationship, in our marriage, settlement between brothers and sisters, between family symbols. So we need to have all those things that need to be settled so that we can focus, so that we can be who God Almighty has, has ordained us to be in life and destiny. Someone said, Trouble times never last, but tough people do. I know we know many of us, we know this, we, we know the quote very well. Trouble times. Trouble times, storm will never lie. Storm will never, you know, will never last, but tough people do. So look at what Apostle Paul said in the book, of Apostle Peter said in the book of Luke, in the book of First Peter chapter 5 that we just read. Four things there, and then we start to pray. The Bible makes us to say, he said, God will perfect you. When, when you are, when, when that's, that's suffering, that situation, that matter, that challenge that we are experiencing is for a little while. The Bible says, "Up is for a little. It's, it's, it's temporary. The thing that we have seen now is temporary. It now we can't compare to the glory that is going to be revealed unto us later." And Apostle Paul is telling us that after that, after we have suffered a little while, the Almighty God will perfect. Number one, the Almighty God will perfect. The Almighty God will establish. The God, the Almighty God will strengthen, and the Almighty God will set you. He said, I will perfect everything that concerns you. Psalm 138, verse 8. He said, I will perfect everything that concerns you. We are going to call for tonight, as I've said, we are praying that Father grant me all round stability and settlement. All round stability in my health, in my wealth, in my home, ministry, career, in my relationship. I pray that the Almighty God will grant us all round stability and settlement in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as we start our prayer tonight, if you have not allowed Jesus to be your personal Lord and personal Savior, I present him to you tonight. I present another opportunity for you tonight if you have not known him and for those that are going to watch this video at a later time. Jesus Christ said, come unto me. Come unto me. Jesus Christ is extending his hand of love to you tonight if you have not known him. If you have not accepted him as the Lord and the Pastor Savior, he's extending his hand of love to you tonight to accept him as the Lord and as a personal Savior. The Bible says, with the heart, man believe unto salvation. And confession, with heart, man believe unto righteousness. And with mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Jesus said, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. If you open unto me, I will come and die with you. If you open unto me, I will come and suck with you. Remember one thing, my brothers, my sisters, and my friends. It is appointed for man to die once, and after them it is judgment. It is appointed for each and every one of us to die once, and after them it is judgment. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death. The price to pay for sin is the total complete separation from Jesus, total complete separation from God. 
but God, as Jesus Christ, has paid the wages for my sin and for your sin. It is only for me to just accept the gift of salvation that He has given you and I. So tonight, if you are, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and the personal Savior, you can kindly say this prayer with me. Remember, confession is made unto salvation with mouth. And maybe by adventure you have gone back, you have known God before, but because of circumstances, there's still another opportunity to you again. Call upon Him. Call upon him to restore you back to faith. Maybe you have compromised. Maybe you have lost, 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 lost your step along the journey of life. Why not ask him tonight to restore you back? Why not confess that sin to him? So if you are there tonight and you want to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and as a personal Savior, why not say this prayer with me? Father Lord, I come to you today. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ died for my sins and was rose, was saved, was was rose again to save me. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my personal Savior. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my personal Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Have mercy on me. Cleanse me from all my unrighteousness. I receive the grace to go and sin no more. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for the promise of eternal life. Oh, my brother, if you said that prayer, Congratulations unto you because you are now a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away and all things are becoming new. Says 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. So you are welcome to the family of God. Yes, as I always say, it doesn't hang there. It doesn't hang there at all. The Bible says in Romans chapter 7, verse 17, so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you need to grow in your new found faith by continuously hearing the word of God, by continuously grow in the grace that you have just received now, by continually grow in the faith that you have received now. So you need to find a Bible-believing church near you and let them know that you recently dedicated your life to Jesus Christ so that they can take you through appropriate teaching of the word of God through the Bible. So for me, I am from the redeemed Christian Church of God, House of Praise in Camberwell. So if you stay near or around Camberwell, you know, you are welcome to join us around in London, London Bridge, all that area. If you stay there, you are welcome to join us. Also, you can find us in Leeds. You can find us in Cardiff. You know, you know, can find us everywhere. But most importantly, as I've said, find a Bible-believing church near you and let them know that you recently dedicated yourself to Jesus Christ. And I, I, I believe they will take you through appropriate teaching of the word, through the Bible, the living word of the Almighty God. So once again, welcome to the family of God. Amen and amen. Yes, we are ready to pray this night. And as I've said earlier on, our focus tonight is, Father, grant me all round stability and settlement. Grant me all round stability and settlement. And as we look at the book, we, we, we look at the book of Second, Second Corinthians chapter Second Corinthians chapter two. Second Corinthians chapter chapter one. Yes, Second Corinthians chapter one. Let's read from verse three and four. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse three and four. The Bible says, the Bible says, "Blessed be the Lord, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them." which are in any trouble by comforting wherein we ourselves have comforted of God. The Father of all mercy, the Father of mercy, and the God of all comfort. You know, I don't know what you are going through now. Maybe there are issue challenges. The Bible says, blessed be the God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy, and the God of all comfort, who comforted us, who comfort us in all our tribulation, in all our instability, in all our insecurity, in that storm, in that particular issue. He said, the God of all comfort we comfort to. Why not go ahead and bless the God of all comfort? Or oh, let's bless the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who always comforts us in all our affl aff affliction, who always comforts us in all our instability, who always com comforts us in all our in all our in all in all our storms. Oh, just 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 bless him, just bless him. He said he will never leave us nor forsake us. Oh, just bless him, just bless him, just bless him, just bless him. Give him glory, give him thanks, give him glory, give him give him give him 
glory. Give him bless, bless him tonight, bless him tonight, bless him tonight. Oh, he's the father of all comfort. Ah, he has comforted you. He has comforted you one time or the other. He has comforted me one time or the other. Why not give God for the comfort that is given to you? Oh, your loved one, <laughs> when you pass through the fire, zata prakata, when that situation came, when that challenge came, <laughs> God was there to comfort you. He was there to comfort me. God, why not thank him? Why not bless him tonight? In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration. Oh, you are the father of all comfort. Oh, Zata Prakada, Father of mercy, Sakara, God of all comfort. We just bless you. We just praise you. We just honor you. We just adore you. Oh, Rabu Zato Prakada. Oh, shekekekelebegedebo. We bless you tonight. We bless you tonight. We bless you tonight. We bless you tonight, who oh Lord God. Zata Halaba. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. The Bible says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through our Lord Jesus Christ. Do our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Be careful for nothing. Maybe I don't know what challenge, what issue, what storm you are in tonight. But the Bible says, be careful for nothing. But in prayer and supplication, why not go ahead and give God thanks? Let's thank God as we make our request known to him tonight. Because he can do more exceedingly, abundantly, above that we have or think, according to his power that work in us. Give him thanks tonight. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you, whole Lord God. We thank you, whole Lord God. Because you are the God of all flesh and nothing is too difficult for you. Oh, my challenge is not difficult for you. My situation, O oh Lord, is not difficult for you. Oh, what we are experiencing as your people, as your, as, as, as your children, as your son and as your daughter, is not difficult for you at all. You created us, O oh Lord God. We want to say thank you. This storm, O oh Lord, will soon pass away. This challenge, O oh Lord, will soon be removed. This, O oh Lord, this mountain will soon become, O oh Lord, become, O oh Lord, plain, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord God. We appreciate you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. And because of our time, we want to pray, we want to call upon the name of the Almighty God. We are praying that God Almighty will grant us all our stability and settlement. We are praying that God will grant us all our stability, the settlement that we need. Those things that will make our joy to be full. Those things that will make us to be who God Almighty has created us to be. We want to call upon the name of the Almighty God tonight. And I want us to pray by examining ourselves as we always do on this altar. I want us to call upon the name of the Almighty God. So maybe that instability, maybe that unsettlement, maybe that challenge in my life, in your life that we are experiencing now. Maybe it's as a result of our carelessness. Maybe it's as a result of our wrong choice or our wrong decision. Remember Esau, 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 Esau in the book of Genesis chapter 25. It because of the mercies of portage, he sold his bad tribe. Because of this decision, because he was hungry. And he made the decision to sold to soul his bad tribe. Remember Samson. Samson made a choice. Hey, kakata papa. Yes, kakata papa. He made a choice to go after Delilah. Oh, what about the prodigal son? He made a choice to ask for father. He said, father, just give me whatever belongs to me to go on his way. What about Demas? Demas like he like he loved this world. He loved the affair of the world. He loved the things of the world, and he forsake the work the work that God has committed into His hand. Why not tonight? So tonight, I want us to pray that Lord, Father, Daddy, in any way that I have put, Oh Lord, this instability in any way that I've caused this unsettlement in my life, maybe unsettlement in my health unsettlement in my in my heart unsettlement in in any area maybe your marriage in your career any area that you are experiencing unsettlement any area that you are on, on experiencing instability why not ask god tonight if it is as a result of carelessness ask for mercy the bible says our god is a god that delights in mercy the bible says it said i will have mercy Upon one that we have mercy, and I will have compassion. Upon one that I will have compassion. It is not of him that will not wrong. Why not present your matter to God tonight? Why not please present your issue to God tonight? Oh Lord God Almighty, our oh, Father, I present my matter to you tonight, O oh Lord. 
this storm in my life, this unsettlement in my life, this instability in my life that I'm experiencing. Oh, Lord God, if it is a result of my carelessness, if it is as a result of my wrong decision and choice, Father, I ask for your mercy. Please, Lord God, let mercy locate me tonight. Let mercy locate us tonight. Oh, let mercy locate my wife, locate my children, locate my family, locate my brothers and my sisters, my cousins, my nephew, my auntie, my uncles, oh Lord. Father, Lord God, for every one of us connected tonight and for those that are going to watch all of this video session later. Father, let mercy locate us, oh Lord. Let us be a candidate, oh Lord, of your mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Mazo Preteli Dai Halaba, O Lord God Almighty, Mazo Pretete Pretete Pray, 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 Zopra Halaba Zata Halaba, Zopra Halaba Zata Halaba, O Lord God Almighty, let mercy prevail tonight, O Lord, let mercy prevail over me, over my wife, over my children, over my family, over my finances, over my health, over, O Lord God Almighty, my, my career, my ministry, over, O Lord God Almighty, every area of my life, ha, pra, ba, ba, over every area of my life that I'm experiencing experiencing instability that i'm experiencing oh lord god almighty oh lord affliction right now ah you are the god of all comfort please father lord visit me oh lord in the name of jesus in jesus name we have prayed with thanksgiving we are still praying we are still examining ourselves the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2 that we should not conform to the image of this world. Let us begin to ask God that Father, Lord God, maybe the instability, the unsettlement, the matter, the storm that we are in, is as a result of conforming to the image of the world. It's as a result of doubting the power of God. It's as a result of not believing the power of God. Why not ask for the mercy of God? Pray, 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 pray. pray. Call upon the name of the Almighty God. Zata pragazote. Oh Lord God Almighty, Father Lord God, I pray, oh Lord, this hour, oh Lord, in any way that I've conformed to the world, to this world, in any way that I've doubted your ability, that I have, oh Lord God, don't matter, the doubted your power. Please, Father, let mercy prevail. Let mercy speak, oh Lord. Let mercy speak for each and every one of us tonight. In the name of Jesus, Mazope Halazata Balabalaba, Eprasata Pahliazota Pralabazata Yala, Ayaya Balabalaba, Help me, who law, Satu Praga Santa Calibrada, in Tapu Satu Praga Santa Calabraba. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. So that's first Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Say, Be sober, be vigilant. You know, on that I say, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil. As a roaring lion walketh about seeking who he may devour. Begin to pray that Father Lord, help me to be sober, help me to be vigilant, help me to be, oh Lord God, to be at, at alert. Help me, help me, help me to be at alert every moment of my life that I will not be, oh Lord, a victim of the enemy, that I will not be a victim of the adversary, that I will not be a victim of error, that I will be a victim of mistake. To, 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 to the extent that I will allow the enemy to afflict me, to allow the enemy to bring instability into my life, to allow the enemy to unsettle me, to allow the enemy to unsettle my marriage, to allow the enemy to unsettle my mind, to allow the enemy to unsettle to my career, to allow the enemy to unsettle unsettle my ministry, to allow the enemy to unsettle my home, to allow the enemy to unsettle my finances. Begin to pray. Help me to be vigilant. Help me to be vigilant. Fortify my faith. Help me to remain steadfast. Help me to keep trusting you. Help me, O oh Lord God, not to give Oh Lord God, not to give, oh Lord God, no more room, oh Lord, for the enemy, oh Lord, to attack my mind, to attack my mind, to attack my destiny. Oh Lord God, begin to pray. Zakata, pa 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 pa. So koto, by strength shall no man prevail. That is why we are asking the power of God. That is why we are asking God to help us, to assist us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. We are still praying. Remember, we are praying for God to grant us all rest ability and complete and settlement in every area of our life to grant us all our stability and settlement i want us to call upon the name of the almighty god you know we have some internal issues in our you know 
if, if you don't have, the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. You know, if you don't have sound mind, we will be disturbed. Or we will be disturbed. Our mind and our soul will be disturbed. There will not be any instability. Even if our mind is being disturbed, no instability. Some people will not be able to sleep. Some people will be making this irrational decision, choices, and many things. That is stable. That means that the mind is not stable. We want to pray for stable mind. We want to pray. We want to call upon the name of the Almighty God. Anything in our life that is that is internal to us, causing our mind not to be stable or troubling our mind. Remember. Remember the book of John chapter 14 verse 1. John chapter 14 verse 1. Jesus Christ said, do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your mind be troubled. We are going to begin to call upon the name of the Almighty God. Our Father, I come before you, O Lord. I present my mind to you, O Lord. Everything that is instabilizing my heart. Everything that is making my mind to be unstable. Everything that is unsettling my mind. Please, Father, Lord, God, oh, Madam. I receive the power of the Holy Spirit. I receive the power of the Holy Spirit to calm my mind, to, to bring settlement to my mind, to bring stability to my mind. Begin to pray. Oh, maybe for your children, maybe for your spouse, maybe for your loved one. Oh, that has that, that, ah, that, 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 that needs stability in their mind. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Oh, as a father, Lord, I present myself unto you, Lord. I pretend my mind to you, O oh Lord, tonight, O oh Lord. Whatever is troubling my mind, whatever is troubling my soul, Father, I present my mind, my soul, and spirit unto you, Lord God. Bra Azakata, let every instability. Let every unsettlement, let every O oh Lord God storm, let every O oh Lord God Almighty Daddy Father, every trouble, Father, O oh Lord, trouble my mind, let it be subdued by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. O oh Lord God, whatever is troubling my mind, I cast them, I bring them, O oh Lord God, or at your feet. I lay them down at your feet tonight. Begin to pray. Whatever is troubling your mind, whatever is troubling your mind. What is that matter? Present it to Jesus Christ. Said, Come ye unto me, all of you that are heavily laden. What is being laden in your heart? What is being the body in your heart? Remember that hospital chapter 5 that we read. Say, Cut all your care. Cast all your care upon him. For Jesus Christ care for us. Oh, I don't know which storm you are in right now. I don't know what is troubling your mind right now. I don't know what is troubling your, what is the matter troubling you right now. But I know Jesus Christ said, come unto me. Why not present that matter to God this night? Present that matter to God. Let it perfect your mind. Let it establish your mind. Let it strengthen your mind. Let it settle your mind in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ said, come unto me. Father, we come unto you. I come to you with the body in my heart. Tonight, O oh Lord, I lay them, O oh Lord, at your feet. O oh Lord God, Father, let everybody in my heart be rolled away by the power and the name of Jesus. Let there be a divine touch oh lord everything that has burdened my heart everything that has troubled my mind father lord i pray that you that to roll them away remove them oh lord let your peace that surpasses every understanding be my portion oh lord god begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray zakatakata the bible say out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speak if the mind is not sound <laughs> what will be coming out of the mouth will be useless uh, what will become out of the mouth will not be will not will, will will not be placed together. Begin to ask God, Father, Lord, stabilize my mind. Stabilize my mind. Every spiritual surgery that needs to be done to my mind to be stabilized. Every spiritual operation that needs to be done to my mind to be stabilized. Father, Lord, I present my mind. I present the mind of my children. I present the mind of my wife. I present, O oh Lord, the mind of my brother my sister to you. Father, let stability come, O oh Lord. Remove everybody. Remove every Every trouble has a tata. Those things that have been causing, oh Lord, sleepless night. Those things that have been causing, oh Lord, God, dormant. 
fear, those things that have been bringing anxiety, those things that is bringing panic attack, those things that is bringing heart attack, those things that is bringing, oh Lord God, don't mighty daddy, that is stopping the flow of blood. My father, begin to pray tonight. Every internal issues, oh Lord God, that is causing, oh Lord, my mind to be unstable, that is causing instability in my life. My father, you are the God of all flesh. I present my mind, my soul, my spirit to you, O Lord God. Pray, 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 pray. Perfect my mind, O Lord. Perfect my mind, O Lord. Establish my mind in truth, O Lord. Strengthen my mind, O Lord. Strengthen my inner man. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, katubra azanta kalibra gazuto kalibra da. In the name of Jesus, O Lord. Strengthen with my Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16 says that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by the spirit in the inner man to be strengthened by the spirit in the inner man begin to pray tonight that father lord strengthen me by the spirit my inner man spread strengthen me strengthen me strengthen me with might strengthen my mind strengthen my mind with oh lord God, with the spirit oh lord strengthen my inner man begin to pray so Oh Lord God, ya gada baga ya baga la baga zaka zaka la praga zaka zaka la praga zuko tuko li praga zaka tuko li bo zuko praga zaka ta ya la praga zaka ta praga zaka ta kala pra Oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, my so Help me, help me, help me, help me. Ah, I receive sound mind. I obtain sound mind. Sound mind, sound mind. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Obtain sound mind that my mind will not be troubled. The mind of my children will not be troubled. The mind of my wife will not be troubled. I want us to spend some time. I know time is going, but I want I'm I just have I just have I just have I just have the option for us to pray on this stability of our mind. Oh, Kazupra. Ta, 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 ta. Pray, 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 pressing, pressing, pressing. Baba, Lord God Almighty, everything that is bothering our heart, everything that is bothering our heart by the finished work of the on the cross of Calvary, let it be removed. Replace those bodies with peace. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let there be stability of mind, O Lord. Zaka, stable mind, O Lord. Stable mind, O Lord. Zopekete, prekezekete, prekezakata kalabra. O Lord God, zakata praga, zakata kalabra, zakata kalabra. Oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, be bazubrata pa 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 pa. Strengthen my inner man. Strengthen my inner man by the Spirit. Strengthen my inner man by the Spirit. Strengthen my inner man by the Spirit. Yes, katapragaza takalaba. Yes, lakota pragaza katapragaza katakala pragaza dayalaba. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. You know, just drop in my spirit right now as we are praying. The the most the way that we can strengthen our mind. Is by feeding our mind with the word of God. Is by feeding on the word of God. Is by feeding on the word of God. For our mind to be stable is by feeding him, feeding our mind with the word of truth. The Bible says you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And the word of God is the is the truth that we are talking about. Or oh, the Bible says in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. <laughs> Nothing that was made was made without him. Let's begin to pray that Father, Lord God, Baba, please, Lord, in the name that is above every other name, oh Lord God, help me, oh Lord God, to feed, ma'am, help me, oh Lord, to feed on your word. Help me, whole lot of feel on your wall. Ezekiel said, "Your I find your word and I hate it. I find your word and I hate it." Begin to pray. The Bible says, "Your word is a medicine unto me." Begin to pray. Faru sato azanta halaba zekete pregele pregete ba. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Father Lord, help me to feed on your word. The Bible says in Romans chapter ten verse seventeen. Romans chapter ten verse seventeen. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The only way we can feed our mind to have a stable mind is to feed on the word of God. <laughs> Strengthen our inner man by the spirit of God. Begin to pray. Oh Lord God, your word have I eat in my heart. Your word have I eat in my heart. Your word have I eat in my heart. Begin to pray the grace to speed 
on the word of God, that my mind, my soul will not be starved of the word of God. My mind and soul, my mind and soul, and mind and soul and the spirit, oh, will not be starved. Pray, 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 pray. Begin to pray. Help me to dwell in your word. Help me to dwell in your word. The word of God is full of promises. The word of God is full of prophecies. The word of God is full of promises. The word of God is full of prophecies. It's full of prophecies for us to claim. Begin to pray that Lord God Almighty, when we know what the word of God was say about the particular situation when we are in that storm. <laughs> Remember when Daniel, the three Hebrew, the, the three Hebrew brothers, when they throw them, when they wanted to throw them into the dents, into the, into the fire, they said, even if this God did not even, they know that God can do all things. He can deliver. But they know, so even if this God did not deliver us, we will not worship you. They believe so much in God that they say, even oh, this one, if the God did not deliver us, we will not bow to you. Oh, and God showed Fought, God show forth for them. They fought man in the fire. Begin to pray because they have they ate the word of God. Because they have sound mind. They know what the God means in a particular situation. Begin to call upon the name of the Almighty God. Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter said, ah, after we have suffered a while, ah, the Almighty God will set you up. It will perfect. He will strengthen. He will establish in the name of Jesus Christ of God. I pray for sound mind for each and every one of us tonight. My Father, O Lord, whatever is troubling any of us, whatever is troubling us, whatever internal issues, O Lord God Almighty, that is troubling us, Father, by the power and the name of Jesus, let, O Lord God, those issues be rolled away. Grant us sound mind. We obtain grace for sound mind. Oh Lord God tonight, and we present all the body, all the things, oh Lord, that are way us down in our spirit. We present them to you tonight. And we say, Father Lord, stabilize our mind. Give us, oh Lord, set to mind in the name of Jesus Christ of God. Amen and amen. We have not even started praying at all, but thank be to God, because that is what God Almighty wants us to pray. He wants us to set to that our mind, to have a stable mind, because if we have stable mind, all of that thing will fall in place. And that is why we want to call upon the name of the Almighty God. If we, if we can't finish today, we are still going to continue next week by the special grace of the Almighty God. We want to pray for stability in our health. You know, mental health, stability, mental health, you know, physical health, you know, stability. We want to pray those that some of the things that trouble us, those things, those things, you know, those things feed our mind and begin to weigh us down. And that is why we want to call upon the name of the Almighty God, Psalm 34, verse 8, Psalm 34, verse 18. Psalm 34, verse 18 say, The Lord is near to the broken hearted and save the crushed in spirit. The Lord is near to the broken hearted and save the crushed in spirit. We want to call upon the name of the Almighty God, our Father, Lord God. Please, Father, Lord God, Daddy, in any way that my spirit has been crushed, in any way that my heart has been broken, please, Father, Lord God Almighty, save me tonight. Begin to pray. Oh, maybe your loved one heart has been broken. Maybe your loved one heart has been crushed. Oh, Kaza, be crushed in the spirit. Begin to ask God. Begin to call upon the name of the Almighty God. Zata Pragata. Oh, Lord God of heaven and earth. Father, Lord God, please, Lord, save me, O Lord, save me, O Lord, Zakatakata. Your word says that you are near to the broken hearted. You are near to the broken hearted, and you save the crushed in the spirit. Or any one of us that have been crushed in the spirit, any one of us that have been wounded in the spirit, every one of us that have been, O Lord, wounded, O Lord, mentally, any one of us that have been affected mentally. Oh Lord, Father, we ask, oh Lord, God, please, Father, save us, oh Lord. Save us, oh Lord. Every mental instability, every mental sickness, every mental disorderliness, oh Lord God, in our lives, in our homes, in our families. Father, Lord God, let there be an end. Let stability come. Mental health stability. All of physical health stability in the name of Jesus. We pray for stability in our health, oh Lord. Hey, Papa, Pastor, to pray, 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 pray. Have to pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Let's do one more prayer and then we we, we, we do our, 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 
our, our, our, our prayer request, and then we we'll continue next week by the special grace of God. Jeremiah chapter 33, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. One of the place that we need stability is in our health. We need stability in our health. We need, we need to be in good health. And Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6 says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure. I will cure them and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Abundance of peace and truth. We want to call upon the name of the Almighty God, our Father, Lord, you say you will bring health. Hey, I don't know which area of your life or which part of your, which in any area of your life that you are sick right now. Why not call upon the name of the Almighty God based on that Jeremiah chapter 33, sorry, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. He said, I will bring it in. Father, give me good health. Oh Lord, Father, begin to pray for the next 60 seconds. Call upon the name of the Almighty God. Ask him, ask him, ask him. Maybe you are passing through any difficulties in your health. Maybe you are going through any sickness in your body. This Bible makes us to understand in Psalm 23 verse 4. He said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Begin to ask God tonight that Lord God Almighty, Father, heal me, O oh Lord. Heal me of this sickness. Heal me of this heart disease. Heal me of this kidney disease. Heal me, O oh Lord, of this skin disease. Heal me, O oh Lord, God, of this, O oh Lord, this, this pain. Oh, this marrow bone pain. Father, Lord, heal me. Begin to pray. God said, Behold, I will bring it earth and cure. Ah, Father, bring me earth and cure. Bring me earth and cure. Cure me, O oh Lord, and reveal unto me the abundance of your peace and truth. O oh Lord God, in my heart, reveal unto me, in my body, my organ, let them receive strength. Let them receive stability. Let, O oh Lord, my nervous system receive stability. Let my, O oh Lord God, the smelling, O oh Lord, system receive stability. Let my eyesight receive stability. Let my ear, O oh Lord God Almighty, hearing hear receive stability. Let every organ in me receive stability. Oh, Zaka, my kidney will not be troubled. My lung will not be troubled. Oh, Zaka, Takata, no more dialysis in the name of Jesus. No more arthritis in the name of Jesus. No more sickness. Begin to pray tonight. I want stability in my health. I want divine settlement in my health. Oh Lord, for my wife, for my children, for my loved one, my brothers and my sister, for each and every one of us tonight. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, one of one area that the enemy is attacking us seriously is in our health. One of that area, we begin to pray, and Jesus Christ said, Hazakata. The Bible says we are healed by the stripe of Jesus. We are healed by the bright by the by the stripe of Jesus. Why not begin to claim your healing tonight? Claim your healing, claim that healing for your loved one, for that your loved one. Oh, present that matter to God, present that sickness to God. Father, Lord God Almighty, you are the one that comfort, oh Lord God Almighty, in affliction. Father, I am asking, oh Lord, because I cast, oh Lord, this sickness unto you, I cast this pain unto you, I cast this matter of my body health unto you, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father, grant us, grant me, grant my wife, my children, my loved one, my brothers and my sister, grant us, O oh Lord, all run stability, settlement in our hell, stability in our hell, no more sickness, no more disease. Let the yoke be broken, the yoke of sickness, the yoke of infirmity, the yoke of affliction, let it be broken, let it be terminated. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of God. Amen and amen. We are still going to come by the special grace of God. We are continuing next week for God to give us all our stability because there are still many that we need to pray. You know, we need to pray concerning stability in our relationships, stability in our career, national issues, our natural cause and stuff like that. But by the special grace of God, we touch those one next week we want to call upon the name of the almighty god as we as we do always on this altar we have few prayer requests but because of our time we put all of them together we stand upon matthew chapter 18 verse 19 we want to join our faith together they are met there's marriage pray, prayer for marriage prayer for johnny mercy 
people traveling to Nigeria, people traveling to U.S., people traveling all, all way, all way. Let's pray and pray for the uh, nations. Pray for, for our election coming up in the United Kingdom. Let's begin to pray for Johnny Mercy. Let's pray for Johnny Mercy just for the next one second, one, one minute. Let's ask God that Father will present this request unto you. Please turn them to testimony. Perfect everything, O oh Lord God, that is, O oh Lord God, that is concerning this request. We plead the blood of Jesus over this request. We pray, O oh Lord, that we settle every matter on this request in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for divine settlement upon all these requests in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover this request with the blood of Jesus. Father, turn them to testimony. Perfect everything, O oh Lord, that concerns this request, O oh Lord. For those that are traveling, we pray for Johnny Mercy for the wedding ceremony. We ask, Lord, that to glorify yourself. We pray for our nation. We pray for peace. We pray for the election coming up in May on May 2nd. We ask, O oh Lord, please give us righteous people. We pray, O oh Lord, that we perfect it, O oh Lord. Let your righteousness be seen. Let peace reign, O oh Lord, in our community, in our city in United Kingdom, in Africa, in United States, all oh in Asia, in Middle East, let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ of God. Thank you, Standard Rock of Ages. We give you all the glory tonight. We thank you because the thoughts that you have towards us, they are not the thoughts of evil. They are the thoughts to stabilize every area of our life. They are the thoughts, oh Lord, to give us peace all around. They are the thoughts, oh Lord, to give us rest all around. Father, O oh Lord, we say thank you, O oh Lord. Father, O oh Lord, as we have prayed tonight, we pray, O oh Lord, that you grant us all around stability, all around stability and settlement in the name of Jesus. Every area of our life that is being troubled right now, Father, we are praying, O oh Lord, for settlement. Every area of our life that is being troubled, we pray, O oh Lord, for stability. Father, O oh Lord, God, stability in our mind, stability in our home, stability in our career, stability in our ministry and business, stability, O oh Lord, in our homes. We ask stability in our finances in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh Lord, even as we sleep tonight, we are asking, O oh Lord, Daddy, that you give your angel charge over us. We commit the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of the year into your heaven. We ask, O oh Lord, that the Father perfect everything and set to us all around in the name of Jesus Christ of God. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you for joining us. So no matter what you are going through, my brothers and my sister, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. It is only a matter of time. Please kindly help us to reach the unreachable by subscribe, by like, and by share this video. Till next week, by the special grace of the Almighty God, have a wonderful week. God bless you. Amen.